all right welcome back to this video so today i'm going to be sharing with you how to purchase vps from high unix you can use a vps server to create a foreign fiverr account you can use a vps server to create um a, a foreign a clickbank account or on on bannable clickbank account an account that is not going to get you a uh, band okay so the first thing you want to do is to visit this particular website i will drop a link in the description box below that will direct you to this website okay so check the description for the link to get into this website if you are not registered in if you don't have an account make sure you register so once you register an account your interface will look something like this so as you can see this is these are the servers okay this is the billing method this supports affiliate and all so as you can see this is my server and i'm using um i'm paying 18.5 dollars each and every four months to keep my fiverr account or foreign uh clickbank account and other things running okay remotely online okay so as you can see if i click servers here okay so as you can see it's it has taken me to my um ip address and all the things regarding my uh, server okay so if i click this all right so as you can see here is where i have uh, my details regarding my vps as you can see the name the administrator my password and all and this is my ram and so on so if you want to accept your vps all you need to do is just to click this okay you can click this and it will direct you automatically to your vps okay so as you can see it is connecting you can click allow all right so as you can see i'm inside uh, my vps there is another way to also get into access to your vps i will show you that later all right so let me close this let me close this okay so all you need to do if you want to purchase a server let me go back if i go back to the servers as you can see new order here if you want to purchase your own as you can see new order here you just click new order so after clicking new order as you can see there are various uh, countries to choose um temporarily sold out so at times the, some of the countries might not be available but they mostly have three countries that is united kingdom uh, Uni uh united states and amsterdam netherlands okay so as you can see netherlands so you can choose uh if you want to use a us let's say to create a us fiber account you can choose any of these to create a us fiber account if you want the uk you can choose uk or netherlands okay i'm always using this uk all right so after choosing your preferred uh, location but if it is sold out just open a ticket and contact support and they will guide you so as you can see if you want to let's say for instance you want to open a us fiber account and you want to select a us location all you need to do is just click open a ticket so once it's open all right so you can you can choose any of these let's say sales you can talk about sales all right you write the subject here and you write your concern that you want um them to notify you when they have a us location available as simple as that just send them a mail and they will reply asap all right so let me go back all right so after choosing your preferred location all you need to do is just to choose um let me see i use the windows server all right i use windows server all right so here is where you're gonna choose your package okay as you can see h1 high unix uh one two three these are the v core and these are the ram so depending on what you want if you do heavy tax you can decide to choose your package okay because me i just run a uh, foreign fiber accounts that's the only thing i use it for all right or click bank account so 50 ram is okay for me as you can see but if it, it depends on you if you like to if you want faster speed you can go for 4 gb ram 8 gb ram and so on so just select your package here so after selecting your package as you can see monthly is going to cost you if you choose this particular first one which is one i use always as you can see it's going to cost you uh 6.5 dollars but i usually purchase for like four months so uh 6.5 times 4 is going to be 18.5 uh, dollars so if you like you can purchase for six months that's semi-annually if you like you can even purchase for one year okay it does depend on you and your pocket okay but i prefer you go for just say um quarterly all right quarterly is the best okay so you can test the tool or the server for up to four months okay so you don't have issues but if you have money you can also go for the six month it depends on you all right so after doing that all you need to do is just to click check out okay i'm not going to do that because um i have my servers running already so i showed you how to um that i just showed you the process to uh purchase so all i need to do is just to click uh but so, so let me check out and see all right so as you can see so here is where you're gonna insert your credit card people or whatever method of payment you want to use all right so as you can see so once you add your payment method then you just click pay now and it will be automatically paid you can use a cheaper virtual card if you're from nigeria you can use pay the virtual card you can use um gray virtual card all works with this particular platform and if you have a dollar account or you have a dollar card you can also use a dollar card that's by the way all right 
so let me show you something let me show you one last thing as you can see this is my server all right this is my server so let's say for instance you want to uh, connect uh, your computer to the server so all you need to do is just go is just to go here windows search bar all right so i think you go to remote desktop i think yeah remote de desktop okay as you can see this remote desktop all right so all you need to do is just to go back to your hionix as you can see once you purchase your your server all right so you can copy your ip address you just copy this as you can see you copy and you paste here you paste here after you paste it then you click continue all right as you can see it is it is connecting but if you are it's because i have logged in i have previous my password has been saved okay so that's why as you can see it's automatically logged in but if you are logging in for the very first time you you'll be prompted to insert your password all right so let me show you so in order to get your password all you need to do is just to click this action as you can see here that's you have your uh, windows server then you click this all right so after clicking this as you can see this where this your password okay this is your password i'm not going to i'm not going to reveal my own password all right but if you click the interface you see something like this okay just click you copy then you go back to the vps before it opens then you insert your password and it, this windows this particular windows will automatically open as you can see these are all my browsers all right these are all my browsers chrome as you can see cc cleaner browser firefox and so on and these are where i'm run my stuff these are all uh like this a fiverr account my fiverr accounts okay and some are clipbank account okay so um if you want to let's say install something all you need to do is just to um you can use the i think explorer or something or you can just go back to your windows pc all right let's say for instance you want to install chrome all right so you just visit google and download chrome let's say download chrome download chrome or something like that okay so after downloading chrome it will be installed to your pc let me see so make sure you just follow the prompt and download that's what i'm trying to see okay just download google chrome okay google chrome for download chrome for pc after downloading then you go back to your vps so you just drag let's say you drag the installation file all right you understand what i mean let's say you have already downloaded your chrome browser so you just find locate it in your, inside your main pc then you drag once you drag it to automatically installed inside your vps okay as you can see let me open one of my browsers so as you can see then you start doing your stuff so as you can see let me see what is my ip what is my ip so your ip address is always constant with this so if i click the first result okay so as you can see hi your next agree hi your next as you can see we are from london england united kingdom as simple as that so your location is always constant this is how to run a foreign fiverr account without any issue you can use us you can use uk or you can use asadam they have only three locations in high as i said i'll drop a link in the description box below so make sure you check it out to direct you to um this website that's how you where you can purchase your own vps so thank you so much for watching i will meet in my next video well love